Hey guys, resurfing here, and it is of course time for Yokai Day Friday. I am sorry that this is so late. Um, there was a Comcast technician up earlier. It turns out the reason I've been having all of these uh, outages around here is because they set up a new line and kept the old one connected. So it was causing interference. I did mention that I would share the QR code for Komajiro today. And I have checked uh, the metal is the, the same one that you can find in the blind bags. So if for whatever reason you weren't able to find it in the blind bags, you can get the metal moments figure. And uh, I do have a bit of a yokai history thing I'm going to do. Uh, based off my own knowledge, I actually haven't looked at anything up this time. Uh, this is going to be pure my own knowledge, so I'm sure there's going to be mistakes. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you, you may have noticed, but I've been making sure to wear this Whisper shirt every Yokai day uh, because it just feels appropriate. Uh, so, anyways, here is the medal. Uh, but hopefully. There's not too bad of a glare, and that that can be red. I think it should be able to, but who knows. Okay, uh, that should be good. Um, once again, I just want to show these two together because it's so cute. So, Komajiro and Komasan are based off of the Koma Inu, which are those uh, guardian dog statues that you see uh, at Japanese shrines. Uh, I believe they are meant to keep uh, dark spirits away from the shrines and to protect uh, any person at the shrine as well as any visitors to the shrine. I do know that they are supposed to grant good luck. Um, and that's honestly about as far as my knowledge goes with this. Um, certain things do make them into different things, like uh, in some cases they may be portrayed as villains, uh, or rather something, that the, something based off of them is portrayed as a villain. For example, the uh, terror dogs in Ghostbusters are based off of the Koma Inu. Uh, I, I'm not sure, uh, how many people are going to agree with me on that, but I'm 100% sure on that one. Um, I don't actually know what coma stands for. Uh, I'm assuming probably guardian or something like that. Uh, in you obviously means dog. <laughs> uh. So uh, the Koma brothers and the uh, Koma mom are are based off of these Koma Inu statues, and this is part of the thing where uh, yokai are not devils or demons or evil spirits or things like that. In this case, they are spirits, but they are not evil in any way. Uh, again, things that are based off of them may be evil, but. Uh, Koma and you themselves are very much not evil. Uh, I really don't know that much more. I wish I did. Um, this is probably something I'm going to do some research on later just because I'm very curious about it. And uh, the Komas are just as much mascots of the Yokai Watch series as Jibanyan and Whisper at this point. Uh, so, <laughs> I definitely want to learn more about them. They, the statues do tend to have like a lion mane or beer because, uh, 
The Chinese lion dogs are also related to the Koma Inu. I don't know exactly how much they're related, but they are definitely related somehow. Um, again, they usually they're uh, they protect shrines. There's usually two. They're not always, um, but sometimes there will just be one. But it's almost always two, and they uh, basically guard the gates to the shrine. Now that I think about it, the uh, entire gatekeeper thing is kind of based off Japanese mythology and Ghostbusters. Huh. What do you know? I'm talking about the original Ghostbusters, by the way. I haven't seen the uh, new movie yet. I will be seeing that this weekend, hopefully. Um, yep, so that's all I have for today. Uh, you, one new QR code and uh, a bit of what I know of the Coma Inu, which it's not much. I'm sure I've got some information wrong. Um, so anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Remember, Yokai Day Friday happens every week. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video and have a great time wherever you may be. Bye, guys!